Greetings friends, it's Denise again with Denise's Dancing Paintbrush and another charcoal drawing. Um, this one of a little boy with the cutest tweed cap and a muffler on. And I spent an awful lot of time working on the shadows of the uh, muffler and the um, and the tweed cap almost more than I spent on his face. But as you can see, I start like I normally do, putting the um, the basic lines in with my vine charcoal. And I apologize because I turned my camera the wrong way and so it's kind of a narrow view. I have a very um, small, limited amount of space to work in, so I end up doing these, uh, these charcoal drawings of children with my board leaning against my lap, as you can see. So that makes the camera angle a little bit odd, but you can kind of see what I'm doing. And I figure, make use of the space you've got. I mean, why wait to start on something really satisfying and, and educational for, for the right furniture or the right space or a studio, which that would be lovely, but I haven't the money for a studio, so I do it right here in my living room with my 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 board leaning against the uh, computer cabinet here, the computer table, and whatever works. Make do with what you have. Get started. If you want to be a photographer, start with the camera you've got, even if it's a little piddly, you know, <laughs> 110 Kodak pocket camera. That's what I started with. But do it. Just explore your creativity. It's not about the tools. It's about what's in your mind and your and your hands. Jump in with both feet. And then if you love it, and then if you're really making it work for you, then you can think about buying the, the big art table or, you know, the expensive tools, the easel and the big fancy cameras. That's my advice. <laughs> and basically that's what I've done. I just jump in and work with what I've got expand my, my skills and exercise my, my, my talents and then think about, you know, it would be nice to have a table. And I had one once. It was lovely. Loved it. Loved it. Now that's back in the day when we had a big house and I had a room specifically set aside for my art table but now you know we're we're living in a smaller apartment and there's no room for a big art table that's not going to happen but that's not going to stop me from from working on my craft that's not going to stop me from doing my artwork so don't let things like your tools and superfluous things like you know, uh, an art studio, stop you from doing the thing that you want to do, the love that you have for, for your craft. I don't always put a little white behind my, um, 
behind my characters, but I thought this one could really use it. And so, there it is. I spent a lot of time on this little boy, but I thought he was charming. I hope you like him, and I hope you check out my links below and come again. See you next time. Bye, everyone.